It's another rebuilding year on the north side of Chicago, but Cub fans have hope because GM Theo Epstein is the one doing the rebuilding. Hey everybody, it's Pauly. Welcome back to This Week in Red, where we're talking all things Red Sox and Major League Baseball. So the Chicago Cubs, it looks to be another rebuilding year for them in 2012. But if you're a Cubs fan, you certainly have a lot of hope because the guy doing the rebuilding is former Red Sox GM Theo Epstein. And let's face it, this guy knows how to build a Major League roster. He brought two World Series titles to the Red Sox during his time there, something that hadn't happened up until then for 86 years. There's no question Theo knows what he's doing. Now, he doesn't have a whole lot to work with with the Cubs as he, as he starts his first season. He does have Matt Garza at the top of his rotation, who's a legitimate you know, number one starter who pitched very well for the Rays in his time there. But other than that, he doesn't have a lot to work with in his rotation. He did import Paul Mahone from Pittsburgh, who's a serviceable number three or four starter. He'll give you innings. He'll probably win you 12 to 13 games. I mean, he was able to be successful in Pittsburgh, a team that has virtually no offense. I think he'll be a little better with the Cubs, and he'll give them something in that rotation to help them out. There are some pieces, though, on the Cubs. You know, they have Starlin Castro, their young shortstop. Now, he's being asked to hit third this year. That might be a little bit of a challenge for him. But if he's the, you know, phenom and prospect everybody thinks he is, I think Castro is a big, a big part of the Cubs this year. Darwin Barney at second base showed that he had some good play in him last year. They brought David DeJesus over from Oakland, who's an on-base percentage machine. This is something that Theo believes in from the money ball concept that he, you know, grew up on in San Diego. So, you know, the Cubs do have some pieces in place. Another guy, again, Giovanni Soto, their catcher, good defensive catcher, and a pretty good hitter for a catcher. So I think the, where the Cubs may fall short is, though, in the power department. They're asking Ian Stewart, a guy who came over from Colorado, who was kind of a big prospect for the Rockies in past years. He's going to be their cleanup hitter, but the problem with that is he had zero home runs last year for the Rockies, and he was injured most of the season. So they're hoping that he can have a bounce back year and give them what they need out of the four spot. And on a rebuilding team, it remains to be seen, but at least you have the time and patience to see if it might work. And of course, you still have Alfonso Soriano on the team, who, you know, he's been an enigma in his time in Chicago. He's never really developed into the player that the Yankees thought he would be, or the Rangers thought he would be when they acquired him for A-Rod. He just strikes out too much. And to show how far he's fallen, he's now hitting seventh in that lineup. So it's going to take a comeback here from Soriano to give the Cubs what they need this year. And in the bullpen, Carlos Marmol is their closer. He blew 10 saves last year. You just can't have that out of your closer. But to help out, the Cubs did bring Kerry Wood back in from Cleveland. I think that he knows the Cubs. He'll bring some stability and presence to that bullpen. And I think you'll see the Cub bullpen be a little bit better than last year. So Cubs fans, are you excited about the rebuilding and having Theo as your new GM? I think you have a few pieces in place for the future. What do you think? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and tell all your friends about This Week in Red.